TV event coverage presented by SCT Performance. Mikey Reese trying to take the tire out, and it spins a little bit on the back end. Reese will go to the brake pedal, not liking it. And a 7.15 elapsed time at 192 miles an hour. Ready to go right now. Yadgarian leaving the starting line. Look at it right there. Those tires just did not want any part of that surface. No, I, I'm sure they were rolling the power in and just wasn't there. So they'll have to come back and make some adjustments. There you go. A lot of power. What type of horsepower are they talking like? Let's see what they do. Oh, and they missed the setup just a bit, but he's going to go after Scavo anyway. Down on the top end. Look at this drag race. Jimmy Robbins will not be denied at 7.52 seconds. 167 miles per hour. Super Street, 10.5W. Look at Lutz leaving a starting line. Look at this car. Here's a turbo car that's got the tune-up, baby. Top end. There is a great number at 6.81 seconds. 215 miles per hour. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for that team out of Ohio. An hour on everybody. 215 miles per hour. You go to your record book and tell me what that looks like. Here we go, and it's going to be off the throttle for both drivers. They'll coast their GMs down to the stripe as Tony Nesbitt won't have a chance to get back to the throttle. He didn't like anything that thing was giving him. Holdridge all over the place. Bill's a little haze of smoke out of the car, down at the top end. The Mustang goes 703, 173, and Holdridge 665. 216. He's got the track all to himself, and of course, he's going cone hunting. And Hector gets off the throttle, straightens her back out, and down to the top end, 752, 184 miles per hour in Pro Street. Now he's found himself making healthy waffles for the team in the morning. Here goes Mario Orncini down on the top end. Look at Troy, though. Mario goes to the turbo and asks for help, but will not get it, 849. 113 miles per hour as Mr. Penske Shock Dude goes out there to check out how things are going. Watch that Pontiac in the right side. The Sandman's going to go after it. Troy's got problems. He has to shut it off. Look at the Sandman, though. He says, I'm not looking back. 6.86, 185 miles per hour. Clint Allerton turns around, walks away, flips the coin, and says, I can't believe it. Will be in the left lane. Watch for it or Chevrolet Camaro come up on the chip. Sullivan goes down, makes a steering arrangement, and uh, keeps the car straight. And I'm going, he's going to the sixes. How about that for Sullivan? 667. Mark Mickey had a good old talk. That's all I can say. It is 2005 Grand Am. Absolutely. Here we go. Vinny DeMary, Lutz. Racing, look at Lutz, he's on a good old run. Wow, DeMary puts that thing into a power slide. At 676, Lutz goes 685. What a run for Vinny DeMary, I am telling you. You see power under the hood, and this car holds the record in the class with a 619. Oh, look at that groove, something about it. They're getting into a little spot there. Look at Rennie, though, the Dodge going down eight, or 6.22. Incredible numbers for the two-speed automatic Dodge Stratus. 228 miles per hour. Would you look at old Scotty down there, man? I am telling you. So Samuels leaves soft off the starting line. Believe me, everything's new here. These guys are testing. So when you see that and you go on, ah, you give the old shoulder to your buddy. No, they, they know exactly what they're doing, when they let off, and why. They